It's that time again. We're here with Random PS1 Games. I hope I can play this one, because this is a light gun game by Gremlin Interactive. Remember them? Yeah, I'm going to guess they did nothing. I'm going to look up what they did. Edgemont Maybe. Foundation. Judge Dredd. The character names represented just all over them. So I already TM. forget what they're called. Gremlin what? Gremlin Entertainment, I think. So this is Judge Dredd. This is a light gun game. And let's see if I can play with the controller. That'd be nice. Hit the streets. So let's give myself that. Yep. What? They closed down in 2003? No! Adjusting speed. I don't know. How, how am I? I can't even test it. Oh, test. Neow. It seems slow. Ooh, their headquarters were in England. Oh, God! Yo, Trev, look at how fast I can make this. Ready? Hold on. Uh, okay, that's the max. You ready? want to see the max? Oh, God. It's, like, not even possible. <laughs> yeah. I love playing light gun games. Dude, they made Zool. That's good. Alright, let's hit the streets. I am the law. They have they made N two O nitrous oxide, which is a game that I have for the PS one. Yes. Ooh, they made Hogs of War. I was literally talking oh, about wow. that today. Oh <laughs> wow, that's funny. Hogs of War. They also made Micro Machines. I, yep. think, that, I think that's a game How that people care about. Do I have to kill before you satisfy my demands? I want dread, dear dread. Other jobs. You won't believe what happens next. We need more time. Come on. If I dropped a candy wrapper, he'd be here with that. Easy, so gosh. Come on in. Take me down, slime. He's already put 17 judges out of action. He's overrun the place. Dread. <laughs> Say hello to Mr. Mayor. He's next. You've got five minutes. Remember, I got enough firepower to take out 50 blocks. <laughs> We're working on his identity, sir. Nothing yet. Red. Face is familiar. Can't give it a name. <laughs> Trying to remember. On your way then. Why does this exist? Dread is the best character. <laughs> Take out anything you can, Dread. You'll have to rearm as you progress. One of the judges reports a possible android activity. <laughs> Justice personnel or citizens would still be in the building. How much do you think they got paid for this? One million dollars. <laughs> you ever see that one uh, video where they're playing like Counter Strike? I think it's Counter Strike. It might be like Team Fortress 2. And some guy's trolling some kid and he just keeps saying, I am the law. I am the law. Yeah, I saw that. And the kid, and the <laughs> kid just starts one. losing his mind. Savage! And he like just goes crazy. That is a timeless video. I explosive. What? You're going down, punk. By the way, if you want a movie recommendation, the remake of Judge Dredd from like 2015 is amazing. Yeah, I heard that that one's actually not amazing, and they'll never make a sequel because it made no money. Oh, it's so good, dude. I never saw the original, but the remake is so good. I saw the remake of Robocop, because I actually really liked the original Robocop, and the second one. Uh, but that remake is the most soulless thing in the world. Uh, the most... <laughs> All FMVs? What is this game going to be 10 minutes long? Are you kidding me? Wasn't this only one disc? Why does my reload take so long? Why does my reload take so long? Oh, 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 okay. I have to press a button to reload. Okay, I got it. You're at... Look at your heart icon. It's literally a beating human heart. Oh, okay. So don't hit yellow. Uh, yellow's yeah, dead. <laughs> Already. Yeah, well, like... Wow, so this is not... This, I, is, this is clearly uh, uh, an arcade game. Yeah, I just cannot believe this is all FMV backgrounds. Like, this game can't be longer than, like, 30 minutes long. It's... Well, I mean, what kind of game is it? Of course it's not. Yeah. Oh, I died already. Oh wow, I didn't even notice. That uh that beating heart bothers me. Yeah. Oh, uh, it was like telling me to shoot there. I get bothered when I see actual hearts like that. Yeah. 
It reminds me of the, uh, we've been talking about AVGN a lot, but did you watch the Little Red Hood video recently? Oh, oh yeah. Where uh, they're literally hearts with, yeah. like, ventrices and stuff like that? And they saw them in the shop, it's like, well, why? <laughs> why did they, I want that game so Why did that so Switch shop bad. just do that? Yeah. I have no idea. That's probably top five game that I want. I bet that game's impossible to find. I've looked for it before, and I literally cannot find it. Like, I would pay... Is it not even on eBay? I, not... One I checked before. Okay, so I got a lot of... Oh. So I missed some perps, because I wasn't... Sh oh, really? Oh, okay. Okay. I was going to say, there's no way I missed. Okay, we get it. We get it. Come on. Not bad. The unfortunate thing is that there's like a PAL version of this. I don't even know if it was PAL only. Who knows? Mm. You know? You you can only play it on a top loader any... No, wait. Can you? I want to say you can only play it on a top loader. Who, who am I? Yo! Pink guy, get out of my way! This reminds me just from uh, looking at it on eBay. Uh, there's a very weird game called Little Red Riding Hood Zombie Barbecue on... DS, and if you have that game, that game's expensive. Complete is like 200 bucks. <laughs> I would imagine. That's actually a game that uh, old school CIB Austin Keenan, he was on one episode to our extreme fan. Do you remember that episode? Uh, it was Twilight Princess. Wasn't Ian on that? You might be right. I think Austin was just in some random video. Uh, even I don't know what it is, but uh, Austin had that. And he traded me for it in a deal that was definitely my favorite. And I felt bad, but Austin is like the nicest person. He is the king of having in random fact, DS games. In fact, Austin, the same guy, uh, traded us Silent Hill Shattered Memories for PS2. Oh, I've been looking for that game for so long. Yeah, I was so happy to see it. That game is like ungodly rare nowadays for whatever reason. Wait. And the funniest thing is that. It literally had a price sticker from our store on the back of it for twenty dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> it's unbelievable how that stuff can change. Okay. This is like better than our average. Like, let's try. Like, I've seen a couple cutscenes. I got two levels in. Yeah. I might see a boss. Although the fact that it's like one three worries me that I'm not gonna get to a boss. Also, I'm playing on easy. Don't forget that. Yeah, easy. You can die in like two hits. Hey, at least you have one more life. Also, sometimes I, I honestly can't tell who's like bad guys and who's not. Like sometimes guys just in purple are standing there waving their arms and it's like, uh, hello? Hey, go away. What are you trying to tell me? I think you're supposed to, yeah, I think you're supposed to shoot those. Oh, cool. I'll just waste all that. Oh, wait, now I have a bunch. You do have four credits, so uh, unless it restarts the uh, stage, you should get to lose one boss. Yeah, I'm not gonna like go until I lose, but yeah. if you get the one boss review, it's good. That's a good luck try. Go away! Seriously, for PS1 games, it's better than most. Hi. It's like very specific. Also, this game is definitely meant to just munch your quarters. Unlike a uh, unlike a House of the Dead, where like I feel like you can. You can honestly, like, do it. Like, it's hard, but you can do it if you have practice. Yeah. This, I feel like, is just a quarter muncher. Any real shooter that uh, enemies spawn 10,000 yards away, and they have, um... Hit scanning, obviously. Hit scanning things. Like, I can't even tell what's shooting at me! House of the Dead is, like, the opposite of that, where everything has to make physical contact with you. You know, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. I am the law! I am the... <laughs> Everyone, go and watch that video. Just search... Uh, do you know what game they were playing? Was it I'm pretty a, sure it was Counter-Strike. Search Counter-Strike, I am the law. It's so funny. It's, it's got to be like early... T t like 2008, 2010, something like that. But it's just some some guy. He All he says is, I am the law. And some kid just loses his mind. Why are you saying that? They were playing in that weird uh, mode where it's like... You almost like role-play... Where it's like a server that you like role play like some sort of character, uh, and yeah, <laughs> some people will take that really really seriously, which is why that kid flipped out. 
I am the law. I am the law. Good. I think I might have skipped a cutscene, and I apologize about that, guys. I was, like, pressing X too many times, and I feel like there was a five-second cutscene I missed. Yeah, possibly. Why is this literally 1-4? Like, where is my friggin' boss? I do like how it starts out, like, the second that you're, uh... Yeah, in a different perspective. It's nice. It almost feels weird that it's, like, they even bothered, like, separating it, but whatever. <laughs> what? Loading. It has to be. I guess so. I can imagine in the arcades it probably didn't have loading, because, you know, arcades. Dude. I'll say another complaint I have. Obviously, this isn't, like, an amazing game, but it's certainly better than something like Lethal Enforcers or whatever. But another complaint I have is sometimes it's hard to tell when non-human enemies are dead. Like, those flying things, I was like, did I, did I beat them? Yeah, especially since they're all just... There we go, this might be a boss. Part of the FMV, so they're so artifact that you can barely tell what's going on. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What is that any idea? Is there, is there something specific I'm supposed to be doing? Uh, you did it. So I just, no matter what you do, you just take 50% of your life. It, it Got sure it. seems like it. It seems like it was all automated. So that was a boss, I guess. Thanks, Judge Dredd. Dang. Oh, yeah. Uh, got some price. For oh, game. yeah. Um, I'm going to say 15 for this one. I'll go. So that was a boss. Oh, uh, 20. Once we know the price on this, or once we get to the next half level, we'll call it a park for this one. Judge Dress. Judge Dress. And I think more than, even more than, like, your standard game like this, I'm getting kind of bored of it, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, it's, rail shooters are just like, okay, it's a rail shooter. Unless unless it's really good. Or slow-paced and story-driven, like Resident Evil uh, Dark Side Chronicles. This game's like 18 to Yeah. Alright, I don't really have it. Wait, hold on. Boom! Ooh, that's nice. So that's it. That's all I have to say. Uh, and I guess the last thing to say is, I am the law.